that it used to be we would we would all tune in to watch the Academy Awards uh-huh. because it was our it was our chance to see these people. Oh yeah, basically okay. behind yeah. Be- behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Get them dressed up and yeah. like as people as we would, regular we people. Would hear their yeah. interviews. We would hear their speeches because. These but people now, were generally didn't we didn't have access to these people but now we have outside of the video. Yeah. Outside of their movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. now we have like unlimited access to them, especially on since Twitter. They- What's interesting about this is that we've now we see who they are and we don't like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Brothers Random Show. My name is Travis. I'm Michael. And we are two ordinary brothers discussing extraordinary ideas and some random shit. Some of the topics on the show range from theology, masculinity, movies, philosophy, books, pop culture, and many other subjects. We often talk about the people we admire and and their teachings. People such as Jordan B. Peterson, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, who we believe is the sage of our time. Michael, I brought you on today because I want to talk about the Academy Awards. They will be happening very soon. And I want to talk about if they really matter. So best picture this year. I think year, more people will be will be watching now because last because year. Because of last Wilson year's slap. <laughs> smacked. The slap heard around the world. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, we'll see. <laughs> um, actually, for me, I don't know if this has been the case for you, but so when I was younger, I did a lot of watching the show. I really oh, cared yeah. about it because I cared about movies. I was excited for it. It was kind of like a Super Bowl. It was like, like we would be super, super excited Bowl. about it. Yeah, because yeah. because I played football, but I didn't watch a lot of football. And um, so we as a family, that would be kind of the thing that we would do that, you know, that it wasn't this, um, you know, the celebrities back then were a little more classy and they weren't so disgusting. Uh, and what ended up, uh, cause we didn't have television growing up. I guess we should we tell record the audience. it. And then yeah. once we got, once, yeah, we were, we should we tell the audience we, compound. So yeah, we blew up, grew up in a polygamous compound and, so television wasn't a thing. We did have videos so we could, you know, and so we would have people who lived in town or people that we knew or friends. I would often try to get them to record. And it was the only thing I ever wanted to watch mm-hmm. because I'd, I'd seen a lot of the movies because we go to the movie theater. And uh, I still remember Russell Crowe's acceptance mm-hmm. speech Yeah, for his yeah. Uh, best best uh actor academy award uh because of um of gladiator because gladiator was my favorite movie of that year it's been my favorite movie for a long time and he his acceptance speech was something along the lines of uh for anyone who you know dreams of this and it seems slightly out of reach they they um it is possible you know when you uh, when you grow up in the suburbs of Sydney or Auckland or Newcastle like Ridley or Jamie Bell um, or the suburbs of anywhere, you know, a dream like this seems kind of uh, vaguely ludicrous and completely unattainable. But this moment is directly connected to those childhood imaginings. And for anybody who's on the uh, downside of advantage and relying purely on courage, it's possible. Thanks very much. You know, yeah, it's possible. And it, and it was, and it was so inspiring and I just loved it. And as, you know, as a kid, you know, when I was what, I was like 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. No, no, I was in, I was in high school when that movie came out. Yeah. So I I would have been 16 or 17, somewhere around there. Um, So I thought that we would put this up uh, on, on YouTube, uh, and, uh, and Apple, uh, podcasts and Spotify, uh, maybe the day or the week of the Academy Awards and people have alternatives. And, um, 
So I, I want to read off what the best picture nominees the, this year are and see if you've seen any of them. I mean, there's one or two that I've seen, but there's 10 best picture nominees. Uh, All Quiet on the Western, Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Banshee of Inishiring, I'm butchering that, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Feeblemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and Women Talking. How many of those movies have you seen, Michael? So I saw uh, All's, All's Quiet on the Western Front. And because of Netflix, it's easy access. And uh, Maverick, uh, Top Gun Maverick. I think that's it. I want to say, yeah, I think that's all I've seen. So I have seen All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water. I did go see, and Banshee of Inner Shireen. Inner Shireen, jeez, I can't even say that. I've seen I've seen everything everywhere all at once in Top Gun Maverick. So, you know, like five out of the ten. Mm-hmm. Five. Mm-hmm. So so there's so I've seen half of them. And the other half, I've never even heard of Triangle of Sadness. I have no idea what that I, is. Yeah. The, yeah. And you probably haven't heard of I've heard of women talking just because I read a lot about movies. Have you heard We're of soft, Tar? What? Tar. Nope. Nope. But there's have you heard like, of the there's... have you heard of the Fablemans? No, nope. haven't the, even heard of the these. Fablemans is a Steven Spielberg film. That, no, really. Oh, that nobody a layman like yourself has seen. No, really. Like That's, a Steven Spielberg he made, film. Like so he directed it, produced it. Yeah. What? No, really. He directed it. He, and I think he wrote it because it's based on his life. It's based on his, his upbringing. So here's here's the thing. The most famous filmmaker in the world, the, the, when when movies used to come out, it used to be a big deal, mm. especially from a filmmaker like him, right? So Jaws, uh, Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, uh, Schindler's List, I mean, Saving Private Ryan. I mean, these are amazing films. Uh, and he and he he puts one out, and nobody like. The average, like, huge movie buffs know about it, but the yeah. average person has no idea. Like, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. And even Elvis is pretty easy. The Elvis one is pretty easy to get. Uh, I I ended up uh, doing on de- on demand everything everywhere all at once, which is probably the most original out of all of those, I would have to say, because it's, I mean, it's it's really good. Avatar yeah. the Way of Water looked good. Um as far as it, it, the visuals are amazing, but that's what you expect. But as far as memorable, it's not I mean, I can't remember a line from it. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm I guess what this is about is like do the Academy's words Academy Awards matter anymore do people really care and i think this is indicative of of a society that's kind of moved on from movies maybe i i've heard that cinema may just going to the movie theaters to see entertainment Mm -hmm. might be might slowly just kind of be phasing out yeah because i mean we get we i i bought a 75 inch screen tv that was just like dumb cheap it was wow. so cheap and uh these and you get it on demand and you can sit and from the comfort of your home I, you know I, I don't know what was the last movie you saw in movie theaters uh shoot um i did see maverick top gun maverick in movie theaters that may have been the last movie no i took my kids to see uh puss in boots that was the last one yeah yeah well yeah. and that i would have been know, what, two think, months ago i think that's nominated for animated feature but but the point is is that i just think i you know it's sad to me because i think um hollywood is kind of uh 
what do you call it? Uh, thrown away all, all of its goodwill, kind of like our, you know, health uh, organization has, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, Ricky Gervais had a really, uh, uh, in 2015, Ricky Gervais had a, um, speech or something like that at the golden globes where he basically told everybody that they were idiots and that they shouldn't come up here and tell hard work tell everybody class. how to live their lives yeah well you say you're woke but the companies you work for i mean unbelievable apple amazon disney if isis started a streaming service you'd call your agent wouldn't you so if you do win an award tonight don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god. And <laughs> so... And that's one of the reasons that, I mean, the Grammys recently just happened. Uh, I didn't watch it. I didn't care. I didn't, I don't have any, does I know people who are into music that might care, but uh, it, I don't think so. I would, I would be interested to see, I, I should maybe just watch this, this one or something because they'd be interested to see how things have changed. Cause it used to be, this is what it kind of used to be that the, whoever the host was would kind of get up there and kind of burn everybody. Yeah, like it was, fun, it was roast. make fun it was of roast. everybody. It was roasting, yeah, roasting yeah, yeah. everybody. And it was this, it was kind of to watch all these high and mighties get kind of roasted, it was all kind of in good fun and good fun, yeah, and stuff like that. And then you get Chris Rock getting smacked across the face because Chris Rock, who's been a host, I believe, twice mm -hmm. for the Academy Awards, gets mm -hmm. smacked across the face, and you can actually see. I I haven't seen every uh uh stat out there, but but basically I've been told that when you look at when a stat of people watching, there's like nobody watching, and then and right then after that jumps happens, up, it jumps right after up he because snacks. everybody's talking about it online, and then everybody goes to see if they can actually like, like DVR or like rewind or find yeah. a way to watch whatever sure. happened. Well, or, and also to see the aftermath. Cause he, the aftermath, even, yeah. cause he got up, he talked about it. Yeah. You've, you've talked about this during before. his, his acceptance speech about um, Denzel Washington saying stuff. And yeah. So he, he, and he, he was bawling his eyes out and like, he, he funny, well, he apologized to everybody, but Chris, Rock. yeah. Chris Rock, <laughs> everybody. So, oh, I want to so but here's, to the, here's the thing is like, we've become a, a society of crybabies. We can't take jokes. We can't take criticisms. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and it, and it really does show, you know, it shows in our pop culture. And that's what I think that was. I think that was this, um, you know, uh, like the peak of yeah. the problems that, that pop culture has. And then it, and then it like, peaked right there and you know people weren't watching to begin with people hadn't been you know th that same year they had the golden globes and i think it was all online or on zoom or something like that it was just it was sad and ridiculous it probably peaked around it probably peaked right before social media started to become a huge thing yeah. and this did you watch the video that uh critical drinker put out about it about his yeah. take on on the Academy Awards. On the Academy Awards. Uh, Maybe um, it wasn't crap. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find it, but I I I want to say it was Critical Drinker that put out a video, and his theory was that it used to be we would we would all tune in to watch the Academy Awards uh -huh. because it was our it was our chance to see these people. Oh yeah, basically okay. behind. Yeah. But behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Get them dressed up and yeah. like as people, as we regular would, we people, would hear their yeah. interviews. We would hear their speeches because these but people now, were generally didn't we didn't have access to these people. But now we have outside of them. the video, yeah, outside of their movie, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now we have like unlimited access to them, especially on since Twitter. They, 
they Twitter, they can show a, a video of themselves while they're waking up in the morning, like all this stuff, right? We've been brought in to their everyday to, life. To the mystery. Yeah, the mystery. And yeah, the mystery is gone. It was it's this. It's gone. And we yeah. and what what's interesting about this, and I and I think this the, the same video that you're talking about. What's interesting about this is that we've now we see who they are and we don't like them. <laughs> yeah. Right. right? We, we don't because like their preaching. The, we, we don't, don't like, like their preaching. Yeah. We don't like their um we we don't like their politics. We don't like their uh belief system. Um, their neediness, like their willingness to like flip flop on any issue because they want people to love them. I mean, you, when you become an actor and critical drinker likes to call them adult pretenders, or maybe that's Gary from uh nerd Roddick, but anyway, the point is, is that they're adult pretenders, right? And we, we are sick of them. I think mm -hmm. that uh, Gal Gadot video about uh, the singing. Uh, oh, it wasn't just it was, her. It was all well, it was, it she was started it. She started it. And then they oh, all did she start it? it. And they got a uh, ton of shit for that because, because people were stuck in their houses for COVID and here are these celebrities. Now, Gal Gadot, like right around when this happened, 1984, uh, Wonder Woman 1984 came, comes out and it made her a ton of money because it was supposed to come out in theaters and to pay her off, uh, Warner Brothers had to go. I think they gave her like $75 million mm -hmm. to, to not sue them because it's in her contract that they had, that it had to go to theaters uh, and they wanted it to push their, um, their new uh their on on their online online yeah. service the hbo max mm -hmm. and so this was happening at the same time and here she is she's she's doing a video telling people to stay indoors and that we can get through this kind of thing we can get through this all together this yeah all you've together. got millions and millions of dollars in the you bank. just got a huge payday and i lost my job yeah like yeah that's it's that's like that's seriously the people they're so <laughs> far removed from any normal, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so I wanted to talk about this because it's sad to me because it used to be a really great institution. It used to be this thing that I really wanted to see. It was fun. Um, you know, uh, you know, the Russell Crowe, uh, uh, accepting speech. That's what I would, that's what I liked watching. I liked watching these people who had come from nothing and then they'd made this you know, in America, made it in America, and then they were going to accept. And and Stephen or um, Ricky Gervais's uh, thing was like, uh, you guys don't deserve to talk, tell people how to live their lives. So you mm -hmm. guys need to just come up and accept your award, and then get the hell out. Yeah. Um. Uh. So Chris Gore is a uh, uh critic who who used to run uh film threat magazine and he's got a he's got a channel on uh youtube called film threat and he shared this uh a chart of what the box office uh used to be so it's best picture nominees that were box office sales hits that's oh, okay. what that's what it is i see so it's people I see. who so watched it they they were they were so in the 1980s, it was at 52%. So there were 52% of people watched those movies that were that were also Best Picture nominees. So if you yeah. if you if you think of like uh, I can't th think of what was a nomination back in 1980. Um, so in the 1970s, uh, Star Wars, the first Star Wars, was actually nominated. Uh, for best picture yeah in 77 and that was the biggest movie of that year and of the probably that decade um well i can't say that because i think uh jaws came out that same year but this chart shows a steady decline so there was like a peak in the 1990s it went up 
And then in 2000s, it drops by half. And then 2010s, it's a little less than that. But by 2020s, by the 2020s, it's 14%. So 14% of people have seen the box, the the, the best picture nominees. So those the, nominees that I just rambled off yeah. earlier, 14% of people. That's why it would make sense that because i i was going to ask you about it but it makes sense that because i remember they would have three nominees four nominees tops mm -hmm. when oh the, yeah they changed that in uh okay, now it's so, 10 they had yeah. 10 nominees yeah they did that to okay so get this so this is a whole nother thing that you may not know about so in 2008 dark knight comes out yeah doesn't get a best picture nomination. It's the biggest box office office hit. It does get Heath Ledger a uh, best supporting actor nomination and he wins it. Which and he wins, yeah. Which the is daughter following... accepted, right? No, it was his girlfriend or whatever. Okay. Anyway. Something. Yeah. So the next year, everybody's up up in arms about this. So the next year they they went from five a best picture nominations to 10. And the reason for that is they wanted more people to watch it. And the only way to get people to watch that show is if the big movies are nominated. So big movies like Avatar and Top Gun Maverick, which are both nominated this year. But the problem is, is that nobody watched any of the other films and they're not actually going to win. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows that they're not going to win uh. Best Picture. It's <laughs> and it's very politic politicized because it's such a big. It's supposed to be a big deal, and they used to rake in. I think uh, it was something like 17, 17 million people used to watch it, and it's dropped precipitously. And now I think it's last year. I think it was. It jumped up a little bit, but it's like 3 million people, which is hardly anything. I think The Walking yeah. Dead, I think the Walking Dead at its height was bringing in 7 million viewers. Hmm. So, so I yeah, mean, not those, a lot of people turned Those are just in. numbers. Those are just numbers off the top of my head. The YouTube correctors might correct me, but um, yeah, it's a dying thing. Yeah. I don't think... Um, do you think it'd get to the point where it just it'll I think, just go away? I think in a few years we will see though it, it, as long as it keeps kind of shooting downward. Um you know who Seth MacFarlane is, right? Yeah. Yeah. He hosted the Academy Awards once. I believe in 2014 or 15, somewhere around there. And his was funny like he mm -hmm. there was legit he made fun of people flashing their boobs in movies he had like a whole song and dance number about it it was hilarious um <clears throat> and it pissed people off so i think ever really? since then ever th since then i think it's been slowly declining everybody's like been hmm, you can't make we're... fun of me i'm so important you know that yeah kind of thing. And then everybody's just on walking on glass. And then, and then the viewers, us, us normal people don't want to watch it anymore. Cause it's like, that was part of the fun was just seeing all yeah, these seeing the, them get roasted. famous people get roasted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know. It's, um, it's a sad day for, for, for me, because I used to like watching them. I used to like, I used um, to love it. Yeah, yeah, he used to like watching them. You know, Braveheart. He's so excited the year about it. Braveheart one was great. The year Titanic, even though I wasn't a big fan of Titanic, I mean, James Cameron winning and you know yeah. saying I'm the king of the world and hope, holding up his his Academy Awards. He won a bunch that year and yeah. Oh, Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson winning. Uh, that was awesome because it was a it was a movie that everybody saw and it and it deserved it and was it return of the king that won it was return yeah. of the king is the is yeah. the third one yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 
it won that it won, best and it picture. Won ton, it tons of stuff. It won like best song and yeah, all the technical awards and everything. What a yeah. what an amazing thing that that this nobody from you know uh, New Zealand, yeah, makes it huge with this. Yeah, it's so awesome. It's so awesome to think about, and that doesn't happen anymore. It's all stuff that we've not heard of. It's all sh- movies that we've not heard of. It's all to people that don't deserve uh, any kind of praise because they get up and they tell you how to live your life. You know, you shouldn't vote for this person I mean, or that person. I mean, it probably, I don't know. It, it, it might not be, it, it, it might not be all that bad and I haven't watched one. So I really don't really don't know, but it could just be part of the decline that we're seeing of just of art movies of, of, just of box art. office uh, yeah. movies. Yeah. I think you're right. We, I mean, the next 10 years is going to be kind of interesting to, to, to see they say how, that, yeah, they say that malls, like 30% of malls will be closing in the next, what, 10, 15 years. Oh, as it's probably, well, it's probably more than that because there's there's been several I, malls to close in the last. I wonder five. if mo- movie theaters will kind of be the same thing. They'll so be very niche. It'll be, it'll be a switch. Yeah. We're we're we're. I mean, they still have some dry drive-ins some places, but you. I mean, they when we were growing up, drive-ins were the thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I went to. I got into a couple of fights and driving. <laughs> it was also, yeah, it was it, f- driving were fun, but, it, but I, what, they weren't fun for watching the movies. They were fun for everything else that happened. <laughs> everything else that would go down in, in cars and outside of cars and all. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, so I think cool. we can wrap that up and that's, that's uh that's pretty good uh, time there. And, uh, it's just a quick one. We're probably going to put this out sometime around the Academy Awards just to go, you know, screw you Academy Awards. You guys, you guys don't matter anymore. Cause I truly believe, I think, it, I think hubris is what causes people to tune away. Yeah. Cause if you got some rich celebrity telling you to stay locked in when you've lost your job, your livelihood and all that kind of stuff, you kind of go, Hmm, I don't want to be around you no more. And I'm not going to yeah. pay for your, your shit. So, yeah. And we can see the decline in Marvel movies because of it, you know, all that kind of stuff. So. Well, here's to seeing what happens next. <laughs> what happens in the next few years. So, right. All right. Final thoughts? No, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you weren't uh you weren't watching anyway. So I, yeah, I mean was... I, I have no way of watching it now myself because I only have who streaming. Has streaming? Stuff. Who has who has television anymore? Yeah, I know. Like I don't even know anybody that has television. It's all streaming for me. So we're all like... streaming stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't even and you know, I have to get back to uh somebody recorded on a vhs tape for me <laughs> if i wanted to get back into <laughs> watching it <laughs> right yeah it, all VHS right brother tape. yeah okay keep until uh, next time. until next time keep reading keep listening keep watching keep learning we'll see ya <laughs>